Prince Harry unable to fix feud with William until he understands his brother's hurt. Prince Harry may be unable to fix his rift with Prince William until he understands his brother's hurt over his dramatic exit from the royal life, a royal author has claimed. The Duke of Sussex has publicly acknowledged his relationship with William is now strained as the pair are on different paths. Following Harry's bombshell claims about the royal family in his recent Oprah interview, William told reporters he had not yet spoken to his brother. The pair are unlikely to see a lot of each other this year as they live on opposite sides of the Atlantic. However, Harry could still fly back to the UK in July for the unveiling of a statue of his late mother Princess Diana, where is reported to be planning to join William for a ceremony at Kensington Palace. But royal author Tom Bower warned it could take Harry a long, long time to rebuild his relationship with both his brother and father Charles following a troubling year. He told Express.co.uk, I think it will be very hard for Charles and Harry to rebuild their relationship. However hard Charles tries, it will be very difficult. It will also take a long, long time for William and Harry. They will eventually get back together but it will take time as Harry needs to understand William's hurt. Harry and Meghan's two-hour interview was aired weeks before Prince Philip died and plunged the royals into chaos. Harry told Oprah that he felt let down by his father and that there's a lot of hurt that's happened between them. He also added his relationship with his brother William was spaced but he loved him to bits. Harry said, as I've said before, I love William to bits. He's my brother. We've been through hell together. I mean, we have a shared experience. But we're on different paths. The relationship is space at the moment. And time heals all things, hopefully. The Duke also added he felt trapped in the royal family and shared his compassion for William and Charles being unable to leave their roles. He said, my father and my brother, they are trapped. They don't get to leave. And I have huge compassion for that. The Queen issued a statement saying while some recollections may vary, the issues would be taken very seriously but dealt with privately as a family. Royal expert Amid Scobie confirmed the Queen met privately with Prince Harry at least twice while he was in the UK for Philip's funeral last month. Mr Scobie also confirmed that Harry met Prince Charles and Prince William in the grounds of Windsor Castle after the funeral, suggesting they are all making progress in repairing the damage. He said, the love and respect he, Harry has for his grandmother will always be unwavering. This trip was to honor the life of his grandfather and support his grandmother and relatives. Saturday broke the ice for future conversations but outstanding issues have not been addressed at any great length. The family simply put their issues to one side to focus on what mattered. The Duke of Sussex also made his first public appearance since the funeral at the Vax Live charity concert in Los Angeles to promote the equitable distribution of coronavirus vaccines worldwide. Prince Harry urged people to look beyond ourselves with empathy and compassion during a speech at the event, which hosted by Global Citizen at the SoFi Stadium before an audience of vaccinated guests. He did not appear with Meghan, who is expecting their second child as he praised the world's frontline medical workers at the concert. He said, Tonight is a celebration of each of you here, the vaccinated frontline workers in the audience and the millions of frontline heroes around the world, he said. You spent the last year battling courageously and selflessly to protect us all. You served and sacrificed, put yourselves in harm's way, and acted with bravery knowing the costs. We owe you an incredible debt of gratitude. Thank you. William also got back to his duties this week as he visited his favorite football team Aston Villa's new complex to hear about the work of the club's foundation supporting communities during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Duke told the guests, As you know, Aston Villa is very close to my heart and I'm very delighted to be here today.